Good afternoon. Welcome to our Wednesday night devotion here at Cedar Grove, Pittsburgh slash Pittsburgh on this rainy, uh, warm, rainy, almost spring night. We're going to look at a song found in Revelation chapter 7, three verses. Revelation 7, 10, 11, and 12. It's a song of salvation. And it is a very important song. And here is the reason. Perhaps praise is the greatest weapon we have in protecting ourselves against the fear we naturally feel in the face of overwhelming evil. So just remember that, that praise is our greatest weapon of protection. When we feel like that we're in the very face of overwhelming evil, just as God gives a peace that passeth all understanding when we pray. He gives us courage and passes all understanding whenever we praise. So from the, light, the reading of that, it sounds like that the most important thing that we can do is to praise, sing praises to God. Revelation 7.10 says, they cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God, who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. Salvation belongs to our God. I'll paraphrase that verse. With a loud voice, the multitude cries out, Salvation to our God, who sits on the throne, and to the Lamb who died in our place are the cause or the motive and the means or the method of our salvation. Without your effectual calling and care and the blood of your Son Jesus Christ, we could not have triumphed over evil or entered into your presence adorned in holiness. It is all your doing, God, and to you belong all the glory. So with a loud voice, the multitude cries out, Salvation to our God who sits on the throne. He is sitting on the throne, and one day soon he is going to get the, the okay to come after us. Talk about the definition of salvation. Uh, one definition or way to describe it is preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. Preservation or deliverance from harm, ruin, or loss. Two, a source or means of being saved from harm, ruin, or loss. Thirdly, deliverance from sin and its consequences believed by Christians to be brought about by faith in Christ. Noted it was deliverance from sin and its consequences believed to be brought about by Christians or believed by Christians to be brought about by faith in Jesus Christ. Verse 10, as the song continues, And they were shouting with a great roar. Shouting with a great roar. Salvation comes from our God who sits on the throne and from the Lamb. Paraphrase of 10. Your God, sitting in majesty and power, on your throne, together with the Lamb who died in our place, are the cause, the motive, and the means or the method of our salvation. Only Jesus Christ, who died on the cross, can offer salvation because he went to the cross. He obeyed the Father, went to the cross, shed innocent blood, so that salvation would be made possible <clears throat> for us 
without your effectual calling and care and the blood of your Son, we could not have triumphed over evil or entered into your presence adorned in holiness. It is all your doing, and to you belong all the glory and praise. Revelation 7.12 says, Singing, Amen. This is part of the song, Revelation 7.12. This is where the angels lift up their own tribute to Jesus Christ, the one sitting on the throne. Revelation 7.12 starts out with singing, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. There's some key words in that last part of that song that they're singing Amen to. First of all, the word blessing is a serendipity of happiness, a spontaneous overflow of thanksgiving attributed to God. Spontaneous overflow. The word glory from the verse 12 speaks of majestic radiance, splendor that surrounds the Most High. We can only imagine what that looks like in, in real, real life existing. Majestic radiance, splendor that surrounds the Most High, the Lamb who was slain, the one by which salvation is possible. Wisdom is displayed in His infinite comprehension of all things. Infinite comprehension of all things. Thanksgiving comes to God as the only reasonable response to his goodness, the giver of every perfect gift. Thanksgiving is it could be the only reasonable response. Honor, the word honor in the verse, just a word from him and it is done. Remember in the Old Testament creation, God spoke this came into existence. God spoke. This came into existence. God spoke. He speaks just, just a word from him, and it is done. Honor becomes the respect due to his person, capital S, talking about God, so exalted that one day every knee should bow. That would be interesting to see the ones who have blasphemed his name and cursed his name and, uh, and done evil. The Bible says that verse says every knee will bow and confess that he is Lord. Might in verse 12 the might by which the universe is upheld forever and forever the eternal character of God, his dominion without end. He is the ultimate power. He holds dominion over everything and everyone. The one who sits on the throne, the one who made salvation possible. The amen, amen, truly I say to you, the other amen, to affirm that which is certain. Truly, truly I say to you, to affirm that which is certain. By, si by saying amen, it expresses full agreement to be trusted without question. So when the angels lift up their tribute, say, Amen, Amen, to affirm all those things that have been said, the words describing what's happening in that song. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might, 
all given to Jesus, the one who sits on the throne beside his Father, waiting until God gives the word, the Father gives the word, and he comes after us. We, like the angels there, have much to be thankful for, and we can sing the praises and join in their song uh, with a great cloud of witnesses, the Bible says. We have so much to look forward to, and the neat thing about it is God is going to help us all the way home. If we ask him and we seek and knock, he will be with us throughout the trip all the way home. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this time. Thank you for Revelation 7, 10, 11, and 12. Thank you for the example of the angels lifting up their praise and glory and honor and everything that goes along with it. Thank you for making possi salvation possible. Thank you for allowing us to pray and commune and fellowship with you. And thank you for forgiveness and deliverance. And thank you that we have hope in knowing that we'll spend eternity with you. Lord, bless the rest of this week. Be with the ones who are having tests and have physical situations. Thank you for meeting each and every need. Thank you for going with us as we leave here and we finish out the week. Help us to let our light shine for you. We ask these things, Father, in your name. Amen. Thank you.